let's understand initially if, uh, uh, initially i am going to i am going to uh, place minus 1 in the hash table what's the meaning of minus in the hash table that is array that means it says that hash table is currently empty okay that is why i am using the for loop so the for loop this for loop is used to initialize the hash table with minus 1 you can observe here all a of 0 minus 1 i becomes 1 i of 1 also minus 1 so until max so all the locations of array or a hash table is filled with minus 1 next what we are going to do in this in this portion here every time you enter the data which you want to place in the uh, which you want to place in the hash table and then key is created for the hash table key is nothing but a now here it is nothing but a address address you are going to okay let me take address so address i am going to uh, create uh, i am going to take a address for a key whatever you have taken so let me take now this as address and this as For a key, I am going to find the address. So, that is done by a create function and that address I am going to send it to a linear probe function which will linear probe is if, if that particular location address is empty then it is going to place the place the key at in the hash table. Okay, then it is going to place the key in the hash table. Suppose if you want to uh, enter a more number of elements then you can press 1. So that is why it, it, it keeps continuing as answer is initialized with 1 you can observe. Okay. Once the key is placed uh, in all particular all the places and uh, the collision has been uh, one uh, that is if, if the collision wherever there was collision that was really uh, uh, resolved through linear probing then you can finally finally you can display the hash table how do you display that by calling the display function let's understand what create is going to do you can observe here the create function okay this is a create function here as soon as you enter a key as soon as you enter a key okay what it is going to do it is going to find the address for a key it is going to find the location for a key okay it's going to find the location for a key so so here it's going to finally return the address for a key so this is the change i'm going to make then So that's what create is create is going to find the address for a key. Now, if to for the linear probe function, you are going to send the address of the hash table, then the address corresponding address of the key it is going to send. Okay. Suppose a of address. Okay. Suppose a of address is minus one. Any location is equal to minus one, then then you can you can place the key at that particular address you can place the key at that particular address that is what you can do if suppose the location is empty then you can place the key o in that address otherwise what suppose if the collision happens at a particular location then you have, as i told you have to find the next possible empty location that can be even in a circular that can be in the circular manner whichever the that is you have to find the next next possible location okay so now in this while loop in this while loop first i am going to check how many number of uh, elements already already have been placed in the uh, hash table 
that is I, the, what's the necessity of this particular while loop you might think so this while loop is necessary uh, to check whether the hash table is full so that's why i am making use of the count suppose the hash table is full suppose the hash table is full okay then you can tell that hash table is full and display the hash table display the hash table that is what you can do okay that is what you can do suppose the hash table is not full and, and suppose the hash table is not full and collision happens at a particular place see this else part you are going to enter only if the collision happens at a particular location suppose the hash table is hash table is full and uh, not full then what then from the see you will get you will you will have the location location where the collision happened so you can you can uh, check the next possible empty location that is from the address plus 1 till max that is from address 1 till max is there any empty locations okay is there any empty locations so if there is any empty location then you can place the key over there then you can place the key over there okay that is why you are using this if suppose in those places that is from address plus 1 till max if there is no empty location then then you can use the location you can start searching the empty locations from 0th position till address minus 1 okay till address minus 1 that is ad less than address till then you can select because I have told already you can select the empty locations in the circular manner so from address plus 1 till max and from 0 to address minus 1 so you can search in those locations so now if suppose address plus 1 till max if the location is not empty then you can go for 0 to address minus 1 if somewhere the location is empty then you can place the key in that particular location you can place the key in that particular location that is why we are using this particular while loop next once once linear probing is done this is about the linear probing program once linear probing is done next we can display the hash table display the hash table is similar to uh, yeah uh, display the hash table is similar to the uh, array display so from i equal to 0 i less than max you can uh, go on build, uh, uh, displaying the contents of the array okay here you are displaying the address as well as the contents of that address so both you are going to display so that's about the program now we will see the execution of the program Let me save whatever the for the changes whatever I have made. So I will compile hash dot c minus o hash dot slash hash. Now enter the data. So this is the heading. Enter the data which I want to enter. The kind of the length of the a hash table is 10. So first I will enter 23. So do you wish to continue? Yes, I will enter some more data. 42, then 1, then 56, 1. So observe here 23 where it is going to place in the hash table 23 maximum value is 10 23 percentage 10 that is 3 so 23 is going to occupy uh, the 23 percentage 10 is 3 so 23 is going to occupy the third location 0 1 2 3 that is 3 location 3 okay it is going to occupy that location 
whereas 42 is going to occupy the second uh, location 2, whereas 56 is going to occupy location 6. Now, again I will enter data 33. 33 if I press, what happens? 33 percentage 10, 3. At 3 location 3, already one person has taken a place. One person has taken a place. So, let me show you. Before uh, actually entering 33, I will enter some other detail, 44. So, let me show you the hash table first. Do you wish to continue now? No. So, you can see here the hash table is this shape. This is how it is going to play, take a location. 42, uh, that is 23 is going to take a place at 3. Okay, that is third location. 42 is going to take second location. 56 is going to take a location 6. Then uh, 40, 44 is going to take a location 4. Okay, now let me run once again and show you enter the data the same data i will enter 23 23 1 42 42 then 1 44 and then 1 56 now if i enter if i enter the data uh, 23 then the collision will happen at the location 3 Lo collision will happen at the location 3 right so because 23 is occupying occupied this place so what happens it's going to find the next location from fourth empty location next empty location from fourth to 9 suppose if there is no location at the, from here to here then it is going to find the location from this place to this that is 0 to 0 to 2 that is what it is going to do ok from 0 to 2 this particular location if suppose if there is no location at these place after this then it is going to take a location from em next empty location from 0 to 2 so now I will enter and show you how it is going to suppose if I enter 33 this time enter the data no 0 do you wish to continue no 0 sorry so I will place one more 66 enter the data do you wish to continue no 1 uh, it, it sorry uh, I will enter 66 this time. So, it is collision detected, collision avoided successfully by linear probing. That is, I uh, here entered 0, 0 would have occupied at this place. So, when I pressed 66, it was supposed to take a location at 6, but 6, 56 was already there. You can observe here 56 is already occupied uh, the sixth location so where 76 is going to take place that is at next empty location after this next empty location after this is 7 suppose here if there is no location present that is empty then it is going to select from check from 0 to 5 so that is what it is going to do but here at 7 it is empty because how did I come to know that 7th location is empty that is it is equal to minus 1. So, do you wish to continue? No, I want to see the hash table. So, you can see here 66 has taken this next empty location. So, this is how you can actually solve the hash table.